One thing that's pretty handy to do is uh, to be able to play, you know, scales across the neck of the guitar. And uh, let's say that you wanted to do something like a G major scale. Well, you can do that uh, all the way across the neck of the guitar two different ways. So I'm going to write down some frets here. First off, strings. Here's some strings. Which, by the way, this uh, drawing out patterns like this on a piece of paper might seem boring or redundant, you know, but I'm going to say for me, it's it helps one, two, three, four, five. It helps me to uh, sort of focus uh, on what I'm doing here. So, for what it's worth, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Now, the first fret that we're going to start on is going to be the second fret. So what I do typically is I'll put a number up here so that I know that's number two, right? Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to start uh, drawing some uh, some notes on here. We're playing a G major scale. It's G major scale. G major scale, right? And that uh, notes uh, for that guy are going to be G. Then I need a whole step, so that takes me to an A. Need another whole step that takes me to a B, right? G to A to B, right? Then I need a half step, so that gives me a C. That's my half step right there. Uh, then C to D is a whole step. D to E is a whole step. E to F sharp is a whole step. F sharp, and then G is the half step again. So here's my half steps at. Um, between three and four and between seven and one it's a major scale and that's how you can tell half steps between three and four writing the numbers down to one two three four five six seven and one this is just the numbers the degrees you might say of the scale one and two is a whole step so h uh, w uh, two to three is a whole step three to four we did four to five is a whole step five to six is a whole step Six to seven is a whole step, and seven to one, again, is a half step. All right, so my G can start here on the third fret of the, because this is the second fret, so that's the third fret of the E string. I'll note my strings here. E, A, D, G, B, and E. This is my E1, uh, B2, G3, D4, A5, and E6. All right, so the third fret of the E6 is my G. Uh, now I'm going to do. Uh, this is a like a like a, uh, a one, two, three, four, five, five frets. We're going to go. So uh, my second note is a whole step here. My third note is a whole step here. So that takes me to G, right? A and B. Now I got to get a C. Oh, C is on the third fret of the A string. So there's my C right there. C, right? C. And then a D, of course, is another whole step. And then an E. Uh, did I do this whole step right? Let's see. B to C. There's my B. Yep. C, D, and then E. Right? F is on the third fret of the D string. F, third fret of the G string. Uh, D string. And uh, uh, F, uh, F sharp, which is really what we're after. Second fret, third fret. Second fret, third fret. Yeah. So I want an F sharp right here, F sharp, and then a G, G, right? So uh, from here, first finger, third finger, pinky finger, first finger, third finger, pinky finger, second finger, and third finger. There's a scale. Another half, another uh, 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 octave if we want to. So from here is my G. Then I have A, A. Now B is going to be on the fourth fret, two, three, fourth fret of the G string. Uh, there's my second fret, third fret, and fourth fret. There's my B. And then C right here on the fifth fret. C right on the fifth fret. So far I have. And then D on the seventh fret again. D on the seventh fret. D. E on the fifth fret of the B string. Two, three, four, five. There's my E. Right. F sharp here. F sharp. 
and G back over here on the third fret G, right? And what that looks like is this. Now we can also, as I said, I want to start on the second fret because we can also do that from the second fret, but the G still starts where it is, but I'm gonna use my second finger for that guy. And now, uh, now I'm gonna go G to A, I'll get my B from here on the second fret, right? Uh, B and C are B and C next together, so there's my B. So I'm going to go third fret, fifth fret, second fret, third fret, fifth fret, C to D. There's my D right there, right? E on the second fret, E on the second fret, F sharp on the fourth fret, and G on the fifth fret. And that sounds like this. So it's exactly the same as this. notes but you're playing them in a, in the second position rather than the third position and the other the more serious uh, uh, difference between that is uh, that it's a four fret stretch so in this second position you're on the third fret uh, fifth fret second fret third fret fifth fret second fret fourth fret fifth fret it's only second fret third fret fourth fret and fifth fret that's four frets if you start in the third position with your uh, third position is just the third fret right with your first finger, that's all, all the way from the to the uh, seventh uh, to the seventh fret. So from the third fret to the seventh fret, so you have uh, one, two, three, four, five frets. So both of those are useful. It's the same way to, uh, to play, um, and you can get a lot of mileage out of learning both uh, learning the C scale. All actually, I don't want to say C scale. All of your scales, all of your major scales, you can get a lot of mileage out of learning to play them from the sixth string in two different spots like that, either one position or the, or the position below that as a four fret scale or as a five fret scale.